Many times people want to rush, they want to accelerate the journey, but they don't understand that the journey is lifelong. There is no end goal, there is no end destination. You are in this journey from the moment you were born until you die. Today is just another what? Brick that you're laying to build your ideal house. We have a choice to accept life as it is yep. or be an active force for good to decide, I don't want to just survive. This is not me. Yep. What it takes to survive and what it takes to live, those are two totally different things. Do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Where you are now is just a reflection of your past thoughts, your past thinking. So if you want to change your future, you got to change your thoughts now and then put them into action ultimately. You have to go through the fire first. You have to experience the full fall and the complete self-loathing in order to come around to something like the forgiving of oneself. It's when you skip responsibility, when you use a substitute emotion like guilt, which is of no use to anyone. But if you feel the real thing, which is shame, hatred, humiliation, and self-loathing, that is the door. And if you get through that, then you can forgive yourself. You can never lose faith. That's the key. You have to believe in something that you can't see. You have to believe when you can't, when you don't see no way how. You have to stop. You have to stop giving in to every little short-term impulse that enters your brain. You have to stop giving in to whatever feels good in the moment. You are going down an empty road. And the further you go down that road, the more you try to satisfy that appetite, the appetite just grows. It can never be satisfied. So long as you try to satisfy your carnal desires and your short-term impulses, you are going to live a life of suffering. But if you choose to suffer up front, you pay in full now, you are going to become somebody that you are proud of. You are going to become somebody that you respect and that feeling is so much more satisfying and so much longer lasting than any other form of cheap dopamine that you're chasing after walk away from that path now because it is leading you absolutely nowhere your back is against the wall and every single one of you can relate to this because this is what's difficult about failure the disappointment is on you it is your fault and you go through failure alone. Failure gives you two choices. You stay down or you get up. All of you understand the disappointment of failure. And I can stay down or I can get my ass up and I'm in the getting up business. Someday it's gonna be your last day. It's gonna be our last day. So I'm gonna live every day as if it's my last day and do stuff that I always wanted to do because I don't want to go, oh man, I'm dying tomorrow. I'm dying now and I missed. It. I don't want to think about what I could have, should have done. I want to do it now and I don't care about talent. I just care about doing it now because I want it. I want to do it and it's within me. You know, you know what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Deep down inside, I think everybody does. And a lot of people just don't go after it, mm -hmm. you know? And like most people start out, they say, I want to be a this, but I'm going to get that to make sure I have something to fall back on. Yeah. And what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for failure because you're going, there's a possibility that I'm going to fall back. And when you put that out there, then you fall back. But if you just say, hey, this is what I want to do, and you go do it, you usually get your stuff the way you want it, man. You know, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes it's the quiet voice at the end of the day whispering, I will try again tomorrow. The journey towards your dreams starts with the courage to begin, to take that first step, despite the uncertainty that lies ahead. It's about acknowledging your fears and at the same time, not letting them hold you back. Every great achievement began with the decision to try, to step into the unknown. The path may not always be clear and the destination may seem distant, Yet every step you take is a victory. It's a testament to your strength, your resilience. Remember, the only impossible journey is the one you never begin. So muster your courage, take that first step, and watch as the path unfolds before you. 
it's okay to be a little lost. It's okay to not know. <laughs> it's okay to be a little bit confused. It is okay. You know, stop beating yourself up so much about it. Stop feeling like you need to be there or with this person or at that point in life, or you need to have what they had. Just take a step back, take a breath, and just be where your feet are. It is okay. It is just a season in your life. It's just a period in your journey. It's not going to last forever. When you die, you'll be dead for a very long time. Also, I don't know if you know this, you were not born for a very long time. Even though life is long, it's also, if you take a step up, very short. The concept of not squeezing the shit out of it from a happiness standpoint, from a trying standpoint, from an ambitious standpoint, is ludicrous to me. You know for a in fact, in your mind, yeah, I should probably be doing it. And then you don't do it. I mean, you just cheat yourself. If you've got something that you want, what is stopping you from getting it? You got to realize that you're in complete control, right? You're behind the wheel every fucking day.